hello guys welcome back to the android app development tutorial in this video i'm gonna make a mole mash game which is just a beginners level game and you can complete this entire project within 10 minutes and start playing so don't want to waste your time come let's get started for this i'm gonna type in mit app inventor in my google chrome open the official app inventor.mit.edu website and then just click on create apps Sign in with your Gmail account. Click on start new project and type in the project name as Mole Mash. And click on OK. Now open this project. Click on continue. So first I'm going to add all the required media files to my game. Click on upload files under media. Click on choose file. First, I'm going to upload the image of mole, another image for the hole, one more image as an obstacle, which is a bomb, and a sound file to be played whenever the player. Um, hits on the mole that is places his finger on the mole click on drawing and animation drag and drop the canvas component change the height of the canvas component to 80% and width to be fill parent so I'm gonna change the background color of the canvas to green and below the canvas, the remaining 20% I'm going to make use of it to display the score of the user. For that, click on layout, drag and drop and horizontal arrangement. And under properties, change the align horizontal to center. Change its width to be fill parent. And height to occupy the remaining 20% of the screen. Under user interface, drag and drop a label component. Change the text for label as score space colon space and also make its font bold. I want to increase the font size of my label so let's say I'm gonna give a value of 20. And then one more label to display the score value. Change it to same font size. Change it to font bold. And then the text as 0. Now inside this canvas, I'm going to add in all my holes, mole and bomb images. For that, click on drawing and animation. Drag and drop. five image sprite for all the five holes which we are going to add so initially i'm not going to declare the x and y position i'm going to declare it in the block section so for now i'm going to add only the image for all the image sprite components so click on image sprite one rename it to hole one upload the picture of hole.png to it Click on image sprite 2, rename it as hole 2 and then upload the picture of hole. Again click on image sprite 3, rename it as hole 3 and then upload the same picture. We are going to repeat this step for the remaining two holes as well for the remaining two image sprites. Renaming it as hole 4 and the last one as hole 5. If you want, you can add any number of holes as you wish if you want to increase the complexity. And then add one more image sprite, rename it as mole. And then upload the picture 
of a mole here let the height and width be automatic for all the image components we have added now I'm gonna add one more image sprite and rename it as a bomb for this I'm gonna change the height and width to 70 pixels don't worry I'll be attaching all the additional files that is the media files and my description link you can download it from there and build one on your own so and then upload the picture of bomb And then rename the label to component alone. We are not going to do anything with this label one component, which is purely used for displaying the text score. So I'm going to rename the label to component only. So renaming it as score value. Now I'm going to add a clock component because for every 500 milliseconds that is for every half a second I want my mole and bomb to move to some random hole inside the canvas for that click on sensors drag and drop a clock component which is a non visible component and I'm gonna add another sound component so click on media drag and drop a sound component and for that attach the source file which is video game uh, sound effect so that whenever the player places his finger on the mole um, a sound effect will be provided and then one more notifier component to display that the game is over or the player won the game like that so that will be available under user interface click on user interface drag and drop a notifier component So that's it. We have completed the entire designer window. Let's start building the block section. So for the block section, first I'm going to create two different variables. One to hold the score value. So I'm initializing a variable called score and assigning it with a value of 10. Creating one more variable called holes and then create an empty list inside that variable so that I can store the different uh, whole images under the same variable now I'm gonna create a restart procedure so that I can uh, specify the X and Y position of the different image sprites I've added in designer window. Click on list. First I'm going to add the different whole image sprites we have added. Uh, inside this empty list we have created using a variable called holes. For that hover over holes drag and connect get global holes and I'm gonna add five different holes so click on the gear symbol and add four more items now if you are adding more number of holes to increase the complexity of the app then you need to add the exact number here click on hole one duplicate all the whole one components and then click on the drop down to change it to the respective whole number so now I have added all my whole components inside the single variable called holes and now I'm gonna specify the X and Y position for all the different holes click on hole one drag and drop set hole 1 x2 click on math
so i want my holes x hole ones x position to be placed at five percent uh, along the entire canvas width you can see along the entire canvas width i want my hole one to be placed at five percent of the screen in the x position whereas in y position i wanted to occupy the 30 uh, 30 percent of the canvas width so i'm going to give the value as canvas width multiplied by 5% which is 0 0.05 and then duplicate this entire block select Y under drop down and instead of canvas width select canvas height and change the value as 0 0.30 which is 30% along the entire canvas height now repeat the same set of steps for all the five different holes we have added and give the x and y values as 0 0.35 and the same x position which is 0. Point, the same y position which is 0 0.30 so uh, in that way all my three holes that is hole 1 hole 2 hole 3 will get placed uh, in the same x position sorry in the same y position but different expositions similarly hole 4 and hole 5 gonna get placed in the same y position but varying in x position don't forget to change it under drop down as well Now for hole 3, the X position is 0 0.65 which is 65% and the same Y position For hole 4, the X position is 0 0.25 and y position is going to vary now which is 0 For hole 5, the X position is 50 and Y position is 60. And then as usual, setting the variable, that is setting the score vari variable to 0. Because we'll be using this procedure once again when we want to restart the game. And then display the same in the score value label. So now I'm going to create two different procedures to move the mole as well as bomb in some random holes we have added inside the canvas. For that, click on procedures, drag and drop to procedure do block, rename it as move mole. First procedure is a move mole one and another one is move bomb. So for both of these procedures, we're going to use the same set of instructions only by varying the image. So let's see what we are going to do. Click on variables. I'm going to initialize one local variable here called current hole. And then 
so the what the mole is going to do is it is going to pick one random hole out of all the five holes we have added and then it is going to appear in that that is pop up in any one of the holes for that we're going to make use of pick a random item from the list option that is why previously we have created a um, list and then added all the whole components to it So under list you can find one block call pick a random item list so from which list it is gonna pick the random item we all know that is from global holes and then I'm going to call my mole image to move uh, the mole image X and Y position is going to get adjusted according to that whole position now for that click on mole and then select call mole move to block and specify that particular image sprites X and Y position. Click on the plus sign beside any component. Click on any image sprite and then make use of image sprite X of component block. Hover over current hole, drag and connect, get current hole. And then duplicate this block once again. Instead of X, now change it to Y. So basically what this block will do is it will pick any one of the items from the global holes list and then according to the X and Y position of that particular hole the mole X and Y position will get arranged in that way we can make the mole to pop up in any one of the holes randomly. So we're going to repeat the same set of procedure for more bomb itself. So duplicate this entire set and just simply copy it to more bomb. So now instead of mole, you're going to click on the drop down and change it to bomb. So next we're going to program like when the user presses his finger on a mole, a score value is going to get incremented by the value of 1. Whereas when the user presses his finger over a bomb, the user score is going to get decremented by a value of 1. So for that, Click on mole, drag and drop when mole is touched. Set global score to get incremented. by the value of 1 that is whatever the value being displayed as text in the score value label and then display the same in the score value label and then whenever the user places his finger on mole I want um, it to play a uh, some random sound file which I've already added so we have already um, sorry I have used a player component okay so yes we can make use of the player component click on player one drag and drop call player component to start playing that music because we all since we already added a source file so we don't need to mention it once again in the block section so and then 
duplicate this entire set of block and instead of mole now change it to bomb and then as well as the score value must be decremented by one so instead of this addition block i'm gonna make use of the subtraction block click on math drag and drop a subtraction block and then instead of playing that sound file i want um it to vibrate so that the user get a feel that he has actually stepped in some wrong item which is bomb click on player one call player one to vibrate in some millisecond value which is let's say i'm gonna give a very less value which is 100 100 millisecond i want my mobile to vibrate So when screen 1 is initialized, I am going to call the entire restart procedure I have created. And then we are it to program only the clock component. So click on clock 1 drag and drop and clock one timer so with the clock component um, I've kept the timer interval as thousand so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the timer value so uh, for every half a second I want my mole to move uh, the mole as well as the bomb both must be moving uh, for every half a second to some random whole place inside the canvas so reduce the timer interval value as 500 so for every five, uh, 500 millisecond, that is half a second, I want my mole as well as um, the bomb to move some random position, right? So I'm going to call this move mole and move bomb procedure here. Click on procedures, drag and drop, call move bomb as well as call move mole and then uh, here i can make use of that uh, notifier component we have added that whether the score label reaches a value of 10 then at that time uh, i can display the notifier component as uh, you won the game and then i will uh, once again call the restart procedure so click on notifier so sorry before that i need to check whether the user has reached a value of 10 the score value of 10 so click on control drag and drop and if then statement first it is going to do some conditional check over here for that drag and drop and equal to sign if the score value label text reaches a value of 10 So I'm keep giving the value as 10. If you want to increase the complexity, you can provide some higher values here. And I'm going to call the notifier component to display the notifier notifying message as you have won the game. And then once again, I'll call the restart procedure. So that's it. We have created our entire app. Let's check out the output now. Here you can see the mole is going to some random places and as well as the bomb. So what, let's see what happened when I click on the mole. When I place. When I place my finger on a mole, you can see the score is getting incremented. Now I'm going to place my finger on the bomb and let's see what's going to happen. 
you can see the score value is getting decremented Let's see what happens when I reach the score value of 10. See, the notifier is displaying the message as you won the game and the score value is going back to the zero as we initialize. So that's it. We have created this mole mash game. Start creating and start playing.